Hi, I'm Mike Giles with Superflow, and today we're going to talk about how to calibrate the torque channel on your SF Power Mark. Before you get started, the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that the sensor box and your Windyne computer are communicating. So to do that, go to the Windyne computer, and in the bottom right-hand corner in the status bar, you'll see the ComNet icon. Just make sure the green light is illuminated, and you'll be good to go. So to perform the calibration, you're going to need a couple tools. You're going to need a 7 16 inch wrench. You're going to need a soft-headed hammer, the calibration arm that came with your dyno, and a set of calibrated weights. So now we're ready to mount the calibration arm. On the driver's side of the dyno, as it's facing out of the test cell, there's four quarter 20 bolts. Take your 7 16 inch wrench and remove those. You'll know you got the right ones. They're the only four on that side of the dyno that are in the machine surface that matches the radius of the calibration arm. So once you got them removed, just simply remount the calibration arm with the same bolts. So now that the calibration arm is mounted, go ahead and take the weight pallet that came with the dyno and hang it off the calibration arm. And we're ready to go back to the Windyne computer and zero the torque sensor. So when you're at Windyne, hit the C key on your keyboard and we want to find channel two, which will be TRQ1. And that's the load cell torque. We found torque one or channel two, and it's currently reading 8.9 pound feet, which is just the weight of the calibration arm and pallet. So all we're gonna do is click zero to zero that out, and then we can calibrate it. So we've zeroed out the weight of the calibration arm and pallet. Now we're ready to add our calibrated weights to the pallet. So now that we've got our weight mounted, we're ready to go back to Windyne and enter our calibration value. In this case, we've got 150 pounds of calibrated weight on a two-foot moment arm, so our calibration value is going to be 300 pound-feet. We added our calibration weights to the cal arm and pallet. Now we're going to come back to Windyne to calibrate the load cell. So press C on our keyboard to bring up the calibration screen and find channel number two, which is TRQ1. That's your load cell torque. Highlight the channel by clicking on it and then click calibrate. We have 150 pounds of weight on a two foot arm, so we're going to use 300 as our calibration value. So enter 300 and click OK. And your engine torque is now reading 300 pound feet. So we just calibrated our load cell with 300 pound feet of torque using our 150 pounds of calibrated weight. We just need to do a quick double check and make sure there's no stiction or hysteresis in the bearings and the absorber. So we're just going to pull up on the torque arm and push down on the torque arm, and then take our soft-sided mallet and tap around on the absorber a little bit and make sure that there's no stiction. So we check for hysteresis and we still had 300 pound-feet at the load cell, so all is good. Now we can go ahead and remove the weights and calibration arm and go back to the computer for the final step. So now that we've removed the calibration weights, pallet, and arm from the absorber and replaced the four quarter 20 bolts, we have one final step in Windyne. And this time hit zero all and make sure that there's no pressure on any of your sensors so we don't incorrectly zero them. Zero all, okay. This time we're gonna hit save. Click okay to confirm and then done on the calibrate screen.